Well, I'm out today with the cameras for Sonu Bates, and one of the biggest questions I've been getting over the last month or so, and also with Sonu Bates social media, is Des, we love the one wheel pellets, we understand what, you know, what they're all about, but one of the biggest questions we've been getting asked is how you prepare them, and that's what I'm gonna do now. But just to run you through how popular these have been, you know, now we've got into the colder months, I've been using these on the method feeder, and I've also been using them on the pole. Not in every sort of occasion, but, Every weekend at the moment, I'm mixing these up, whether that's to go with me baits that I'm putting around the method, or I've been using them down the edge fishing for carp. You know, I've also been putting a few on the pole. If I'm going somewhere and it's really difficult, you know, I'd start adding one mils where I probably wouldn't put one mils in at the start, but it's really, really hard. They are making a massive difference, but preparing them doesn't get easier, which I'll run you through right now. Now, I've got a bag open already. And this is exactly what I do because they won't go into a pellet wetter. They'll go into a pellet wetter, but obviously people are saying that the pellets are going through. So this is the way to prepare them. It's really simple. Now, depending on how many you want, you get the container, whether it's a, a sort of one point, two point or three point. I've got a two point one there. Put as many pellets in as you want. I'm gonna sort of do it like a point and a half. And then get yourself some lake water, or you can do it at home the night before. And then all you need to do is put exactly the same amount of water in that container as there is pellets. And because these are a real high quality pellet, like all the pro pellets we do, just make sure you move them around a bit and make them like a porridge. I've got to put a little bit more in there yet, but do move them around with your fingers because they're so fine, the actual air cannot, you've got to let the air out. Now in there, that's probably just slightly too much. Just drain that out. Don't worry too much, don't panic. So you want it like that, so it's like a jelly. So when you move it, it is like a jelly. And then just put, put that down somewhere nice and flat and then leave them for approximately 20 minutes. I would leave them 20 minutes minimum, up to sort of 45 minutes. So get that to your peg. Like I said, you just take that little bit of water off the top so it's like that. So it's like a jelly when you move your tub around. And that's it. Put it on your bait tray. Get yourself ready when you go fishing. And these will be perfect. I've obviously, like the old Blue Peter days, I've actually prepared some earlier. Now I've done them for what I want today. I'm going to be fishing with a little method today and also doing a little bit of pole fishing. And these have been left now for about half an hour. And they're actually rock hard in there. But then just get your fingers in, separate them all about. And like I've always already mentioned, these are a high quality pellet, so they don't break down. That's what the pro feed range of pellets is all about. That's why they go through a process at the factory. And like I've mentioned before on all our films, I don't know what they do, it's a secret. But I know it makes a huge difference to our pellets. And if you look at them now, I've left them half an hour. So they're perfect for the pole and I can mold them Run a method feeder, which I'll obviously run through a few bits and pieces in a little bit while fishing. But that is how easy these pro feed one mills are so easy to, pre uh, to prepare. I've had a couple of small carp. We've only just started, just putting one mils round, but this is just screen round. It actually feels, I know I'm pretty sad, it, but it feels like a tench, because they pump like mad. On the old method feeder as well, little ICS, it is actually a nice big tench. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see from the cameras, but this lake at Hairscum is pretty damn clear. So it's just nice to get, um, we've had some real cold weather the last few days and loads of rain. So it's just nice to actually catch some fish. Well, that's a great fish to catch. I got a little six mil band them on. Look at him. There ain't nothing better than catching a nice big tench, is there? I did see the jig when I looked at it. I thought that's, that feels like a tench the way it was actually pumping. 
Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that absolutely stunning? Let's get the look out of him. So what I'm going to show you, I'll just show you as well in a second what I'm doing with the method. Like I said, that is what the one mills are all about. You know, not just winter fishing, but summer fishing as well. But he's definitely fell for the new one mills. He's probably, I reckon that's four and a half pound. It's a proper lump. So let's get him back and uh, I'll run you through what I'm putting around the method and how to use these one mills, not just on their own, but also what you can do with mixing them in with the two mills as well. well I'm going to recast now after having that lovely tench. And I've got me, me one mills there, which I've showed you earlier in the film, how to prepare, really, really simple. Now today, with it being really, really cold, we've had loads of rain, the water is really, really clear. I mean, I could see that tench probably four foot down when I was playing it. And this lake here at Harriscombe does go really clear. So I'm just sticking with the one mills today. But like I did on the weekend, I had my one mills mixed up. I also had a little bit of ground bait and also had the Fin Perfect two mills mixed up. Now you can just vary that, like I've done on, on a lot of the films we, that we do for Sonyu. With the method feeder fishing, you can get the one mills, the two mills. You know, you can go like two, two handfuls of one mills to one handful of two mills. You can put a bit of ground bait in. And like I do with all my method feeder fishing, Maybe not so much in the winter because you don't get as many bites. But in the summer, in the spring, that's when you can mix these baits together to make the fishing a lot, lot better for you. So it's the same process. I've got me ICS small method there. So I've got me little bandam on there, 16 KKMB, which is one of my favorite hair rigging hooks. And I've got me mold. And all you do is exactly the same. So I've got me one mils there. I and mean, when you look how many little individual pellets there are in there, and you actually chuck them in the edge, you can see why these are so deadly. They, they got a little bit of a hazy cloud that comes off of them. And you can just imagine the fish trying to pick all them little particles up. It's a bit like ground bait, but not, you know, you just got all them little particles, which I think is brilliant for carp. So three quarters load the mold, bait in the middle, few one mils over the top and the exact same just funnel them down feed her in the mold a couple of squeezes and look at that absolutely deadly and then you can squeeze them they're actually quite bindy one mils because there's no sort of air gaps in it's a little bit like ground bait you can give them a little bit of a squeeze because this lake's about nine foot deep run fishing today so just to get them down to the bottom and give them a little bit of a squeeze and you, you know when, when a bait's dead right for the method, when you hear it go in, it goes in like a, a douche, you know, quite firm. And that's why they're so deadly. You know, when I, actually, when I actually got some samples of these pellets, I thought, I know exactly what these are going to be good for. And the method is definitely one of them. And that is how simple they are. So like I've said to you earlier in the film, really really easy to prepare literally put the same amount of water on his pellets leave them for i would say a minimum of half an hour separate them out with your hand and they're just ready to go and that's wherever you want to fish them on the pole or like i am you know you can even put them through like a little cage feeder if you're going somewhere fishing for skimmers i shouldn't tell you this actually but i actually used them when i went to tamar and uh, on my festivals down there i actually put the one mills through my ground bait as well so, you know, they've come into play with a lot of my ground bait and I'm sure they'll make a lot of difference to your fishing as well. Well, after catching that lovely tench on the old method feeder, we all, we all know that um, it is about catching carp and that's exactly what's happened now. I've started catching some carp, putting the one mills round like I showed you. And we were going to stop filming, but I've just latched into this one. We've had a few smaller carp, I've had one about six pound. But I've got to, we had to film this. It's a lovely carp. You can probably see by the camera how clear this lake is. It's not crystal clear, but it's certainly clear in most lakes that you fish. God, look at him. Only, get, only just about going the landing net. Let me band them off. That do definitely need <laughs> definitely need a bigger landing net. He's not that heavy. I think he's just really long. And very very upset with the situation that was absolutely shocking that end of the fish i got him now look at that for a bit of winter method feeder fishing 
Oh, that is a beautiful fish. Great big common. Definitely need a bigger landing net. I think if I come back, I'll have to get my 18 inch landing net out. But that landing net was absolutely fine up to then. That's well into double figures, that fish. I'm going to get him out, show you guys, and get him back straight away. Let's just make sure I don't hurt him. So look at that. It's probably getting on for 13, 14 pound that. Proper wiry. Well held there, actually. But they are proper wiry. Every couple of quarter really wiry. I'm not gonna hold them up for long. But pink band them, then one mils round it. Actually getting covered in snot. Look at that. Lovely hairscum common carp. Get out of the method in the winter with the one mils round. And uh, you'll put you do yourself proud on catching fish like that. Let's get him straight back.